Welcome to Lakeside Beach State Park. This is where we are for this weekend. No. In this week's adventure, Monty becomes a rock star. Come on, get over here. We take the new bikes out for a ride. We enjoy a socially distanced happy hour with some friends. Diane visits a roadside vegetable stand. And we visit one more lighthouse on Lake Ontario. This week we are at Lakeside State Park. It is in western New York, just west of Oak Orchard Creek on Lake Ontario. So Lakeside is a nice state park. It's got a bunch, see there's six loops with at least 40 camping sites per loop. Um, so about 240, 250 campsites. Half of them are pet friendly, the other half are not. From what I understand they're very um, I don't know, restrictive on that. You cannot walk your pets in the non-pet loops. You can you walk them all around the pet loops all you want, but not in the non-pet loops. The campsites here are nice. Most of them are 30 amp. No water and no sewer hookup. Typical for a state park. But uh, we're in a very nice site. It's it's on it's kind of on the open side. But this is September, and it would be a little on the cooler side normally this time of year. So this site works out very nice for us. There are a lot of very wooded sites, which would be lovely in the uh, summertime when it's quite warm. Um, be nice in the shade. Um, so you do have a good variety of uh, campsites. In the pet loop, they have some very nice sites that are right on the lake. Now, they would be good for the view and such, but I would be careful if you had children because there is a pretty high embankment going down to the water. So you really can't walk down to the water from those sites and you'd have to worry about your kids, you know, safety there. Uh, what else can I tell you about the park? There is no swimming here. There's not. A, there is not really a beach area. There is a water access area that you can walk down to. It's not really a beach. It's pretty much stone and uh, uh, large rocks that are used to the breakwater to prevent erosion. So we did walk down there and check that out uh, the other day, and we'll show you some video of that. Climbing merit badge. What are you? You need a rock climbing merit badge? Right? Yeah. Things to do in this area. 
Um, in the campground itself, I mean, there are some act playgrounds and activities for kids and such. In the area, there is a lighthouse nearby that you can go visit. Um, over on Oak Orchard Creek is the Point Breeze Lighthouse. It's a reenactment of the lighthouse that is open on the weekends. Sorry, the dogs are pulling. It is open on the weekends and, you know, an easy ride over. You can actually ride your bikes over, though Route 18 can be a little busy, so be careful on there. Today we're taking a bike ride and we're going to Point Breeze Lighthouse. It's over on Oak Orchard Creek, which is about a five mile ride from here. We're taking the scenic route because we're not going to get on the parkway with our bikes. That would be a that would be probably a bad, a bad idea. That'd be a bad idea. Yeah, that that would definitely be a bad, bad idea. idea. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're not going to do that. No. Take a look at where you've been and how you've come so far. No matter where you find yourself, you're always where you are. Go anywhere you go. Do anything you do. I'll be with you. Take a moment, take an hour, take another year Start again or keep going, I'll always be right here Feel anything you feel, hear anything you hear You'll never disappear When it feels like you're walking back When you're out of luck and off of the path Broken and far from home Just remember that you're not alone Try not to dig too deep Afraid of what you'll find Give yourself the grace you show me All the time Cause when you love yourself You can give that love to someone else Mornings come and seasons go and life can get so hard It's easy to forget the things that make you who you are I hope that when you look at you, you see yourself the way that I do When it feels like you're walking back When you're out of luck and off the path Broken and far from home Just remember that you're not alone In the face of another storm When you're feeling like you're on your own In that moment you can't control Just remember that you're not alone Remember that No, it's, it's, it's a original. Replica. It's a replica. Right, because original was out on a pier. Oh. And this was rebuilt 15 years ago? Mm, where did I see it? 10 years ago. This lighthouse was built in 2010. The original lighthouse was out there on a pier which got lost in a storm. The lighthouse was already decommissioned at the time but both the pier and the lighthouse were lost in a storm here during one one year, I think 1905. But they built this recreation and it's ex exactly the same shape and size of the original and it actually has a functioning light. This light is good for two miles, the original lighthouse was good for nine miles. But because this isn't a Coast Guard sanctioned lighthouse they get a special permit that just allows them to do a light for two miles. This campground is full this weekend. There is pretty much, they say every site is taken. I've seen a couple empty sites. They may fill today. Today is Saturday, so we, we may be surprised on that. This weekend we're here with nine other Airstream trailers. And we're having what you would call a mini rally, uh, or what we've been calling them a meetup. Basically, everybody makes their own reservations. 
prepares their own food and everything and we just get together for campfires and happy hours but we've been having a pretty great time um, getting to catch up with friends that we haven't gotten to see all summer so we've really been enjoying that I thought we'd talk about our weekend a little bit it was a lot of fun we were joined by uh, what, eight other airstreams nine. nine other airstreams yep and um, yeah a lot of nice people from our unit and the uh, weather was great, sunny, yeah. mild. We were able to ride our new bikes a couple of times. Yeah, we got a fair amount of bike riding in. Right. Put we, some miles on them. Yeah, we probably rode, what, 30? 20, 30 miles. 30 miles between two rides. Yeah. Saw a lot of nice scenery. Visit uh, a couple Amish markets and another f fruit stand. Hi. Hi. Have a good winter. That was our friends John and Esther in their 1955 uh, Airstream Bubble. Which would be equivalent to... A Bambi. A Bambi. Yeah, 16-foot Bambi would be equivalent to. Mm -hmm. And they've had that for quite a long time. Right, yeah. John restored it. Mm -hmm. This park is really nice. Um, very, very spacious. Uh, you got your choice of sun and shade. You can have some spots that are, you know, are, are very wooded and shady if you want. Or, you know, we had a spot more in the sun, which really worked out perfect for this weekend because it was kind of nice and not cool, but, you know, warm, mild weather. Right. It wasn't real hot, but it was nice. So the right. sun felt good during the day and um, we weren't in the shade. But if you were here during the midsummer or something when it's really hot, you'd, then you'd, you'd want the shade. Yeah, then you'd want the shady spots. But for us, we did have a tree right next to our spot, so that offered some shade for the dogs. Yeah. And like Diane said, we, all, we were here with nine other Airstream group. Um, as I meet up, it really wasn't a rally. You know, we, are, we try to, you know, adhere to, you know, social distancing and, and, you know, all the safety stuff that we should be doing in this time. So we, we had happy hours where we sat in a group six feet apart so that we were safe and sat around a campfire and just talked and told stories and you know the happy hour was bring your own so that was you know kind of nice right no food or drinks were shared yep. um, you know we just had the campfire and gathered around and you know like Mandy said told stories and talked about our airstreams and you know just had a nice time yep and I don't know. If, I don't think this will be our last trip for the um, fall. I'm hoping maybe we can do one more in a couple weeks. And before we we don't put it away, we go away. So right. with that, that's right. for the future. You'll see that come soon enough. Right. We'll be headed out in mid-November for our trip out west, which yep. we hope will last this year several months. Right. And not be forced to come home due to whatever circumstance may arise right so uh, you know get away from the snow for the winter see some more of the country right yep all right well we are all packed up the dogs just have to get in the truck and we're ready to go so i guess we'll end this here yep so if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channels uh, for travels. Yep, and make sure to hit the bell for notifications. We post new videos on a weekly basis, and we'd love to have you guys follow along with us. And until the next video, we will see you down the road. That's right, guys. See you down the road. Bye. Bye.